What's up, RV populace? Uh, so we are currently at Mother Neff State Park. This has to be one of the best uh, campgrounds. I mean, just from what you get to how nice it is. It's been a really good experience because of the overall landscaping that they have out here mm -hmm. and the trails um, that we were able to do as a family. And it was good weather. It didn't rain or anything, so um, we're gonna kind of share that experience when we took the kids on the trail. This place is amazing, by the way, for families. So, like, if you look at our campsite, right? This campsite from every lot is set up in this type of way. You have all of these uh, amenities. You have a fire pit, you have seating. Everybody has a gravel uh, and you have a lot of space. You know, we set up a cornhole. We had like a, it did drizzle a little, so we put it up a tent, but you know, you don't have to you get your own picnic table. Um, and every site in this location uh, is pretty much uh, full hookups, right? Which for those who, who don't know, full hookup is electric, sewer, and water, right? Yeah. And then so as soon as you enter the park, um, they have a nice welcome center. The welcome center was good. You know, we took the kids there, uh, we, you know, to get some stuff. Camp was very quiet, very friendly. Every lot, like, like I said, is beautiful, except for lot five. Now. Here's the thing, lot five is beautiful, but if you're coming here, do not get lot five. <laughs> um, it was just funny how we were walking around looking at all the lots, and then all of a sudden, you know, like the individuals on lot five was like, yeah, man, I think uh, everybody has a, a, a nice lot but us. <laughs> so lot five is it just, it, 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 it's not like every other lot, if, if that makes any sense. So every other lot, you have your own privacy, your, your, your secluded trees. Lot five, you're open, wide open to the road and the trails, and you really have no seclusion. That's the only thing, and you have no shade uh, for the summertime, because there's no trees around you. It's just it's more like a a, a Perry uh, concept. So we, uh, there was some activities and some trails. Um, they have some nice trails here, good for family, not too not too far, um, and they have some uh, points of interest. Uh, we got to see the, the Perry Pond. Um, it's a beautiful pond. Uh, it's a nice walk. I'd say like half a mile. Yeah. Half a mile from our site. Uh, we walked down there. The kids loved it. You know, on the trails, there's like, there's so much, you know, uh, wild uh, wildlife and uh, wild. Uh, Just nature, natural elements that you're able to experience and the kids can... They got hummingbirds in there. There's a lot of birds here, by the way. A lot of nice birds. Uh, and then we, then from there, we went down to, like, uh, the triple C table. Uh, it's like a stone picnic table, if you were, where, where like I mentioned, the, the people who used to camp and work and build these things, you know, how they would eat. Um, there was a cave. Uh, the kids really loved that. That was my favorite. Uh, the, the, the cave was just, just it was nice. Uh, if, for those of you who are photogenic, I highly recommend uh, you come here and there's some nice pictures to be had in, the, in that cave uh, or to take, sorry. They had a wash pond, which I thought was uh, very interesting. Um, so basically everything that you can go and see, they kept, it's all historical stuff that they kept about the triple C guys who who would work um, from National Park and National Park and how they would have to live on these these sites and create uh, you know these state parks so I just I just thought that was very interesting um, there was a historical bell uh, you know the start in the day just just like military uh, for those of you who are very uh, uh, very familiar with the uh, Reveille and stuff like that um, they kind of treated the, these triple C, and it's not a uh, career captain's career course. I mean, it's not career captain's course. It's, uh, it, it, I don't even know what triple C stands for, but it's Civilian, civilian something workers, but they, they pretty much mirrored um, the triple C guys here. They mirrored their experiences to that of a military. Um, so it, it, it's, it was really good for me, you know, being that we have a military background. And then the last thing was the uh, the Triple C Rock Tower, 
which I thought was 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 very nice. Uh, there's a lot of views there. Yeah. Um, obviously, we're here in in a time where it's you know close to winter, so I, I can only imagine what this place would look like um, in the summer and spring, mm -hmm. especially with these type of birds. Um, there's also a bird lookout, um, but overall, like from the playgrounds to the bathroom and facilities and your facility, this has got to be like in everybody's top three uh, national parks or state parks uh, to, to yeah. stay at. Yeah. Um, and uh, history, uh, this is the first uh, is this, uh, park uh, built that if you have, uh, if you've been here before, comment below uh, may, uh, and maybe there was some, you know, things that we missed uh, that because we, we're definitely going to come back <laughs> so that'll be good to know and and if uh and if if there is negative ne any negative things that that because we we had no negative experiences here but if there is like comment below so so people can can, can see and, and prepare uh that for themselves right now like we're, we're just going to give one thing that we really like and then one thing that that we learned on this trip right so what is one thing that you really liked my favorite was the cave that was my overall favorite. Yes. The Tongkawa cave was my favorite part. The whole um, the whole formation of it was just really pretty. And like you said, it was very scenic for you to want to take photos and video with you and your family. This, so one of my favorite things is, is just the location. Uh, we're in uh, spot two. I said don't get five, right? But five is still beautiful. But I'm telling you right now, I seen a video someone said spot 16 not so much I don't think because you're like on the road more spot two we are currently like in the you're cut like tucked away. And, and I mean we can't see our neighbors I mean it's you really have like privacy at, at the fullest and we're right like the, the walking distance to the, the trash can and the bathrooms are like perfect yeah um, uh, so one thing that you didn't like so much or improve? Mm, I don't really think I have anything negative. No? To say. Nothing? You Hold gotta up. you gotta you gotta have one oh thing. You have to. It's just, this is the rules. Mm. I don't really have anything. Alright, so here's one thing that I got. And this is just me being cheap. So at the end of the day, I just feel that because we're in nature and wild it just sucks that we can't go deep into nature and grab firewood and then come back and create a fire pit. You, you, you cause you know, right. For those of you who aren't tracking national state parks, you, you, most of them, if not all of them, I believe you're not allowed to touch the wildlife or, or, or anything in the wild. So make sure when you come here, um, cause they have signs everywhere. Cause I think a lot of people do this, like bring your own firewood. It's just crazy because it's like you're coming to the wilderness, right? You're in the wilderness and you have to come bring wood to the wilderness <laughs> to burn. Like, I, I just, but I, I guess it's to control, you know, Smokey the Bear, right? Control uh, fires and all that good safety, which, which is which is a great thing. So And preservation. Pre preservation. Preserving the land. No. All right. It's fine. So, that's it. Um, that's kind of like our experience at technically our second, but we're gonna deem this as our first like RV um, full experience. Um, and man, it was a good one. So if you have any tips and tricks about setting up or downloading uh, or you know uh, anything, anything RVing, just let us know, please. Let us know. Um, and if you're still watching this, hit that like button and comment below. When you comment, and you hit that like button. YouTube likes to promote the video and um, that helps us get our content out um, for many reasons. One, because we're new at this and we're trying to get as much as advice as we can. And two, for other people who are viewing this, want to do this, it allows them to experience and learn from what we are not doing so they don't make mistakes or they can get tips from what we see and what we're doing. Um, so please uh, don't forget, like and subscribe comment um so rv populace from our family to yours we're gonna end this with a uh, aloha Everybody.